Okay, it's Thursday, and that means it's time for Ask Ellen. And today's question comes from John. So he has a question about the snow. He noticed that his snowpack was melting, even though the temperatures are well below freezing. So Ellen, he wants to know why does the snowpack shrink even when it hasn't gotten above freezing in days? Yeah, this is a great question. I've gotten it from time to time. So the biggest thing is the snow is not melting, at least not most times. It's doing something called sublimation. So let's just start at the beginning. This month has been a really great time to know notice this process because we saw so much snow early on in the month, close to about a foot in terms of snow depth. And then steadily but surely we watched that snow depth shrink even when our temperatures stayed well below freezing. So the first drops are likely just the snow settling down and compacting a bit. And yes, we did have some days where there were big snowpack drops when the temperatures were warm and the snow melted. But this drop in the snowpack here happened due to the process of sublimation. It's when a solid substance like ice or snow turns directly into a gas without melting. So this has to happen when temperatures are below freezing. It's the transition period between a solid right to a gas, and it happens as a result of incoming energy onto the solid and low humidity. Let's just make it really simple for you. You might have noticed this happen in your very own freezer. Have you ever made a tray of ice cubes and you left them in there for far too long? And by the time all is said and done, those ice cubes look pretty rough and much, much smaller. That's because the dry air around the ice allowed that ice to sublimate. And so the water went from solid to gas. All right, sublimation. Thanks yep. for that, Ellen. And if you have a weather question for Ellen, just send us an email. You can reach us at the7 at woodtv.com.